Okay, today for this English class, we are going to talk about The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I just have, I put some slides together to guide a discussion about this novel, and we're just going to look at some of the themes and characters and just kind of figure out what you guys think about this story. Okay, first of all, some of the details about the book. It was written by Suzanne Collins in 2008. It was published by Scholastic. There are two sequels, Catching Fire and Mockingjay. The books have all been recently adapted into movies. I'm sure a lot of you have either seen them or heard about them, and they're just really quality movies. The books, however, are even better. They provide detail that there's no way you can capture within a movie. Some of the main characters. Katniss Everdeen is the protagonist of the novel. She is your classic heroine of a young adult book, and she does an excellent job of keeping the book interesting and giving the reader incentive to keep going. Primrose Everdeen. This is the little sister of Katniss, and pretty much the reason that the whole problem of the book started. She was... I guess I'm going to wait and talk about that more in the plot. Peter Millard. This is the other tribute from Katniss's district, and they obviously need to become close throughout the novel because of the situation they are put in. But there's, they also have an underlying relationship that even Katniss forgets about throughout a lot of the book. Gail Hawthorne. This is Katniss's longtime best friend and perhaps romantic interest. They have a lot of history together, and they really are some of the most trusted people in each other's lives. Hamish Abernathy. This is a mentor of Katniss and Peeta from District 12, and he is the sole games winner from District 12. So he is put in charge of training these two on how to make it through the games. Okay, the plot. 16-year-old Katniss volunteers as a tribute to go to the Hunger Games in place of her sister, Prim. The reaping is something that two um, young kids are drawn through their district and are chosen to go to the Hunger Games. Generally, in these smaller districts, like District 12, there won't be a volunteer simply because it's the worst fate possible to be picked to go to the Games. However, Katniss does not want to see her younger sister go through this, so she volunteers to do it instead, and this just sets a chain of events, and it gets it rolling. A love triangle quickly arises between Katniss, Peeta, and Gail. Peeta quickly reveals during the games that he has been in love with Katniss for a long time. Katniss has been priorly unaware of this, but in order to win, she needs to play along with it. And whether Peta knows this or not is kind of left up to the reader's discretion. Gail is Katniss's best friend, and there are some feelings there, so that makes the whole situation with Peta throughout the games just a bit different, and it makes things hard for Katniss to fully invest herself in the world. The Hunger Games become even more sinister as political aspects come into play. So you mainly see just the upfront details of the book through Katniss's point of view, whether it's just going through the games, what she feels like, when she knows that she has to go to them, what she has to do in order to survive, and all of that. But when you see, when, more when you finish the book, and see some of the other details, you realize that there is a political part of this book that is very, very concerning. Okay, why is this such a popular book? Well, it's a dystopian novel, which is extremely popular right now. There are so many other books like that that are popular, such as Divergent by Veronica Roth, The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Tons of popular books right now that are also being adapted into movies, which helps them gain popularity. Part of the reason dystopian novels are so popular is readers love a story about having hope. They want to root for an underdog and see if they can make it through some harsh situations. If these protagonists of these books can make it through these awful scenarios, 
then it's easy for readers to make it through their comparingly easy everyday life. Okay, another popular aspect is the idea of the love triangle. It's in a lot of these young adult novels, and it draws a large audience, simply because it's a relatable and exciting thing to read about. People like to hear about this, so and this book provides a very solid example of one, because Katniss is a strong character, and she really doesn't need either of these boys, but we still get the look at her mindset and kind of figuring out how to handle them best, because she does love and respect each of them. The book focuses a lot on corruption in the government, which is something that is always good for readers to be thinking about. If something sinister is happening in a book, it may not be super obvious, but it can still be there, just like in the real government. You might not notice things every day, and it's not going to be quite as blatant as in a novel, but you need to be aware of bad things that are going on in your world and not be afraid to just focus on that. Alright, so I have some discussion questions for you guys to think about here. How did this novel change your view on the real world? Do you trust your government any less? Why do you think this book is so popular? What are some of the characteristics of the characters in this book that make you want to think about and maybe change who you are and what you're doing? Are you making a difference? Would maybe you just want to know if you could survive in these situations? So you want to delve a little deeper into how other people survive it. So you're going to read books about it and kind of figure it out from there. Are you concerned about our world transforming into a dystopia? This is a common thing that people worry about. Are we going to have an apocalypse and be set back way farther than we'd ever expect? No one really knows, but maybe it's something to think about. And you need to be aware before it happens. So reading these books just provides a solid background for that. What lessons can be learned from The Hunger Games? I'm sure each person you ask who's read this book will be able to come up with a different lesson. Whether it's just family ties, romantic ties, um, the horror in having kids go into arena and kill each other, essentially. Just what, what really sparks and hits a note with you? Why are you concerned about this book? What drew you to it? And just why is it such an important read right now? So that's, the, those are the main questions I have for you. I'm sure all of you have a lot to talk about with this book. I tried not to give any of the major plot points away for those of you who haven't finished it yet, but I strongly suggest finishing it because it is a very, very good book. And the two sequels provide an even deeper look into some of the government issues that are seen, more family ties, and they just really can relate to the real world, and I want you guys to know about those. I'm not going to force you to read them, but I think it would be a very good idea for you to do so because it will just, it can change your world. Books really do have the power to change how you think.